In September 1960, an extraordinary chapter in British railway history came to a close. Pat and John, two railway enthusiasts and filmmakers, captured this moment at London's Paddington Station for Railway Roundabout, a beloved TV series. Their mission? To document the final journey of a slip coach, a piece of rolling stock that represented over a century of daring innovation. A slip coach was a specially designed carriage detached from a moving train to glide into a station under its own momentum. It was a time-saving marvel, first introduced in 1858 when a coach was slipped from a Brighton Express at Haywards Heath. By 1914, this eccentric practice had reached its zenith, with over 200 daily slip operations across the UK, including 72 by the Great Western Railway. However, by the mid-20th century, slip coaches had become an anachronism. Their disadvantages, passenger isolation, additional staffing requirements and logistical challenges, outweighed their once impressive efficiency. On September 9, 1960, the final slip coach was prepared for its historic last journey. The 1710 Paddington to Wolverhampton Business Express departed on time with a lone Hawksworth-built slip coach, a composite carriage numbered 7374, converted to slip service in 1958, attached to the rear. This would be the last time such a coach would glide away from a moving train. One cameraman rode aboard the express, while another waited at Bista, the station where the slip would occur. As the train approached, the guard prepared for the detachment, meticulously following protocol. First, the safety pin was removed. Then, with the train just 100 yards from the station's advanced starter signal, the guard pulled the slip lever. The slip coach smoothly disengaged from the train, drifting along the track and up a gentle gradient that slowed its momentum, a built-in safety feature. Through the open drop-light window at the front of the coach, the guard could be seen expertly applying the brake handle to bring the coach to a precise stop alongside the platform. Bista had been carefully prepared to receive this historic moment. The 1640 Paddington to Banbury service, pulled by a grimy but majestic 5023 Brecon Castle, awaited its role in the operation. After the slip coach came to a halt, a shunter secured the brake hoses and couplings, allowing the castle to move forward and attach the coach for its onward journey. Double tail lamps on the final coach one bearing a white target, indicated that a single slip had been performed, a poignant detail marking the end of an era. For over a century, slip coaches had provided an ingenious, if eccentric, solution for serving smaller stations without disrupting express services. At their height, they were a hallmark of great Western efficiency, enabling connections across the country. Yet, by 1960, they had become a logistical burden. Passengers confined to slip coaches couldn't access the main train's amenities, such as refreshment cars, making the experience less appealing. Slip operations required additional guards with specialised training, shunting engines for retrieval, and careful coordination to ensure safety. Moreover, slip coaches couldn't support balanced return operations, limiting their practicality. At Bista, this final slip coach served only local passengers, while those bound for other destinations like Banbury faced delays. With advancements in train acceleration and streamlined operations, slip coaches had outlived their purpose. The final slip coach was not just the end of a practical innovation, but the end of a uniquely British tradition. For enthusiasts like Jim Russell, a resident of Bista, it symbolised more than the end of a railway practice. It marked the close of an era, a way of life shaped by the rhythm of steam and steel. Today, slip coach number 7374 stands as a relic of this bygone age, a testament to Victorian ingenuity and the quirks of British railway history. Its last journey on that autumn evening in 1960 reminds us of the creativity and ambition that once defined our railways. An eccentric yet remarkable chapter 
now consigned to the pages of history. So as the train pulled away from Bista that day, leaving behind its final slip, it wasn't just the end of a coach's journey, it was the farewell to an unforgettable piece of railway heritage. <laughs>